So after years and years of waiting, here's the first Mad PSU product. And you might think, wait a second, this doesn't look like a power supply for a computer. And you're right. What we decided to do is split up the whole product line um, because this is just a sensor. This is a current sensor for USB devices. You probably would have seen stuff like this on eBay. These uh, sensors that have a little display on it that uh, tell you how much power has flown through the USB port. So what I'm selling here is a uh, lab grade, an instrument grade power meter. It has a measurement frequency of up to 125 kilo samples per second, 12 bits resolution. You can do decimation up to uh, divide by 256 and get a resolution of up to 16 bits, at which you will get a current resolution of two and a half microamps. And it has a proper analog bandwidth of 20 kilohertz, which means that I mean, you can, you can make an ADC uh, take lots of samples, like to take a million samples per second, but if the actual analog front end is not up to par, then you won't actually get more detail out of your waveforms. Accuracy is 0.75%, plus or minus four milliamps. With calibration, you can get down to uh, less than 0.05%. So uh, there's no screen on this, and the readout is through USB. Uh, actually, on this board is a USB switch, a two-port switch. One goes to the microcontroller, and one goes to the actual downstream uh, USB device. Another thing you can do with this is uh, hook up a lab power supply with a voltage of 1.8 to 5.5 volts and switch the output to that input. And then you can hook up, for instance, battery power devices. I supply a lead that goes from USB power to two crocodile clips, and you can hook that up to your phone's uh, battery contacts and see the actual power consumption in real time. And this also kind of um, outlines the kind of people I'm trying to sell this to. I'm trying to sell this to people who design USB devices, people who design, for instance, uh, mobile apps that use a lot of energy and uh, they want to optimize their power consumption. I'm not actually selling it outright right now. I have a box of 25 sensors. I'm going to sell 20 of those to people who are willing to uh, take a little bit of a discount, um, but then promise me to give me feedback on the sensor. So basically, you're beta testers. Uh, I do promise you will get the final version, so even if we find hardware faults in it, uh, although this has gone through a lot of iterations, so I don't think there will be hardware faults, but even if there are faults in here, um, basically I will send you a new one if we find any faults. So you're guaranteed the actual final product in the end, but in the next month or so, uh, you'll promise to give me feedback um, and uh, fill out one or two questionnaires about the device, uh, give me bug reports, that kind of stuff. And as a thank you for that, uh, I'm giving you a 30 euro discount. All right, so uh, now to show the interface software, uh, I'm not gonna show all the different options that you have. Uh, it's, let's just see what happens if we plug in a couple of USB devices. So uh, here's a uh, Kingston USB 3 um, thumb drive. Uh, this does not support USB 3 speeds yet. Uh, I will be making a USB 3 variant and that will come soon. Uh, anyway, here is Here's something really cool. So let's just pause it here. Um, this is the kind of stuff that's really interesting for people uh, developing for USB and generally just developing devices. Uh, you can see all kinds of detail in the enumeration phase for uh, the USB uh, stick. When you plug it in, you see there is some well, general voltage spike just from plugging it in and the caps in the USB stick uh, charging up. 
but then there is this this large peak and then all of a sudden it uses no power at all and then it starts up and does enumeration stuff and here uh, this whole block of slightly higher, slightly lower, slightly higher, etc. power consumption uh, that's it reading the flash and this is the flash charge pump uh, starting up uh, all kinds of cool stuff going on here uh, anyway Let's clear the palette and look at a Wi-Fi stick. Ooh. Uh, I do have to actually look at the power consumption. <sighs> so this is uh, <laughs> kind of funny. You can see as the LED flashes, uh, there are little um, power spikes. Obviously that LED does not consume like half a watt when uh, when it's blinking. It's uh, clearly uh, turning on its radio, uh, at least its transmit radio, when those LED flashes occur. So it's kind of funny to see. Uh, also, when it's idle, it's still using one watt, and it actually gets pretty warm after a while. Uh, so we can also look at an SD card reader. And here we see the same kind of uh, enumeration spikes uh, going on uh, that we saw with the USB stick. So it's a similar kind of uh, flash initiation. Now aside from uh, just the scrolling view of looking at the uh, incoming data real time, uh, you can also look at the FFT. So the uh, actual uh, frequency content of your signal. So if I plug in the USB stick again, I see that the majority of the information is in very low frequency content. So 10 to maybe 100 hertz. All right, aside from that, uh, there's also uh, calibration options. Right now, this interface, I'm actually rewriting the interface to OpenGL. Uh, so this is still the old interface. Uh, you'll get a new one with uh, a self-calibration routine uh, where you can just connect your calibrated multimeter and uh, do your own calibration. Um, there's options. Uh, I won't go through that. And uh, there's an option to download um, your session data uh, as a CSV file and you can open it in Excel or anything else and look at the uh, data in different decimation levels. So now aside from the actual software that I wrote, um, there's also just an open protocol for how to communicate with the sensor. And this is not just for the USB sensor, but for all future sensors. Uh, they all use the sensor protocol uh, that I've written up and uh, when the sensor is out of beta uh, this will be on GitHub and of course uh, the serial to WebSocket proxy also has its own documentation uh, so you can use this to interface uh, not just the USB sensor but basically any uh, device using serial uh, USB port so stuff like FTDI, FTE232 uh, based devices, uh, you can interface those with the uh, proxy. So there you go, uh, the USB sensor, first Matt PSU project uh, to be sold. If you'd like to buy one, uh, be one of the first 20 people to have one, uh, links in the description, or if you're looking uh, at this at my blog, uh, just read further on uh, in the blog. Currently, uh, I'm uh, restricting the sale to people within the EU uh, just because that's easier to manage. Uh, when the beta period is over, uh, it will be sold on my Tindy store, uh, which I will also link in both the description and in my blog. So, uh, hope you like it. See ya.